Now, while the governor's announcement today is welcome news to many Mainers, there is growing concern that people with Down syndrome will get lost in the crush of patients wanting to get a shot. Families say because of those medical concerns, their loved ones should be prioritized when new slots open up next week. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee reports. Caleb Dunlap, a budding professional photographer, spent the past year living in a protective bubble. And he's self-isolating um, in part because, because he just, he knows, he is scared. Caleb, who has Down syndrome, is in his 20s, still too young to get the vaccine against COVID-19. He's nervous about it. He just, he wants that shot. The Centers for Disease Control says Down syndrome, cancer, certain heart conditions, and other issues puts people at greater risk for severe complications from the virus. A UK study found adults with Down syndrome three to ten times more likely to die from COVID-19. Jen Greslick's family members are isolating as well. Two of her children are doing online school to help protect their 22-year-old sister, Mary. She definitely is taking it very seriously and she is very concerned and she can also cannot wait for that vaccination. Greslick is the president of the Maine Down Syndrome Network. For weeks, the nonprofit, along with other national organizations, have lobbied the Maine CDC to prioritize people with Down syndrome who don't live in congregate settings to get the vaccine. Many who live in group or nursing homes were vaccinated earlier this year. Advocates say around 500 adults with Down syndrome in Maine are still waiting to be eligible. And parents are worried their loved ones will be overlooked again when vaccines open up early next week. If there's not a really strong way to prioritize them, that they'll get lost in this shuffle. A DHHS spokeswoman tells News Center Maine in a statement, Maine also continues to direct providers to prioritize vaccination of those most at risk of harm from COVID-19, as well as those who may face barriers to vaccination within each age group. This includes, but is not limited to those with medical conditions or disabilities that put them at risk. While these families are grateful eligibility is opening up, they won't stop fighting for better access to the vaccine because it could mean the difference between life and death for their loved ones. Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. DHHS officials are also working with families, advocates and providers to offer specialty clinics for individuals with disabilities and their families. Those families are also being encouraged to schedule appointments for vaccinations with their primary care providers. You'll find more information from DHHS and other resources about Down syndrome on our website and mobile app.